Hello, welcome to Polyphonic Press. My name is Jeremy Boyd, and today I'm going to be reviewing the new album by The Strokes, entitled Come Down Machine. Here we go. So the Strokes are a New York-based rock band formed in the late 1990s. They released their first album in 2001. That album, entitled Is This It, garnered both commercial and critical success. The follow-up, Room on Fire, solidified their place in the early 2000s garage rock revival. But by the time they released their third album in 2006, entitled First Impressions of Earth, the interest in the band really waned significantly. They took a break and ventured off into various solo projects. They returned, however, in 2011 with their album Angle and this is a follow-up to that album, and this album is called Come Down Machine. And this album starts off with a song called Tap Out, which sonically and structurally sounds like a mid-80s pop song. Kind of reminded me of Cruel Summer by Bananarama. To me, it's kind of a throwaway song. I'm not really sure if it really belongs on the album. It didn't really touch me the way I liked it. It was sort of a mediocre be beginning to the album for me. I really like it when an album kind of sort of hooks me in right away. That really didn't happen on this one. The first single from this album is a song called All the time, which really sounds like something that would come off of their debut album, Is This It? Although it's this one is a little more high fidelity, a little more polished, and it's really a great rock and roll song with a lot of catchy hooks, and uh, I really, when I heard this song, I thought it was sort of a return to form for the band. I felt like maybe they had realized their limitations and their strengths and weaknesses, and sort of knew when and where to navigate within that. At least that's what it felt like to me, and I felt like maybe they had sort of realized and regained what had made them a strong band in the first place. And to be honest, when I heard this song when it was released, I got really excited for this album because I thought the whole album might have this vibe. Unfortunately, I was a little disappointed in that department. The sort of title track, 80's Come Down Machine, is a short, punchy song that really reaches back to late 70's and early 80's new wave and punk. That sort of mentality of having the, the, the drums really fast and this really charging beat uh, harkens back to that sort of era. The drumming and chord progression on this song really reminds me of something from the early police records. Really sounds like something from like Outlandos Del Moor or something like that. This is probably my favorite song on the album. To me it's the strongest track in performance and uh, you know the lyrics and everything. It's just a really strong effort from this band. And you can kind of tell that everyone is putting in a hundred percent on this song as well. They're really giving it their all in the performance and you can hear it on the track because it sounds exciting. The song Partners in Crime is a more of a slower kind of ballad sort of song. Uh, washed in these really elaborate and over-the-top synthesizers. It sounds a lot like the Cars later stuff, it could be something from Heartbeat City or something like that. It really reminded me of that Cars song, Drive. Uh, if you get a chance to hear that, you can kind of compare the two and they really have some similar sonic qualities. I think the song itself is really well written, but I think the, the synthesizers and everything that's sort of going on with it really take away from the song. It's more of a distraction. Um, I feel like maybe this song would have been better if they use more organic instruments and maybe use the synthesizer as accompaniment. Um, but if you're using the synthesizer as the main instrument for a song like this, uh, it can definitely sort of be distracting and sort of overwhelming for the listener. Um, and so you're paying attention to the instruments and not the message or the vocal performance of the song. The album ends with a song called Call It Fate, Call It Karma, and it's sort of another throwaway track for me. Um, it's sort of an afterthought, doesn't really end the album well or anything like that. It's very lo-fi, sounds like an old scratchy record, and in terms of structure and, and uh, performance and things like that, it's sort of an old jazz kind of Latin vibe, sort of something you would hear from like Harry Belafonte or something like that. Um, not really a song, more of a, like I said, it's more of an afterthought. Uh, to me, this kind of feels like a, a hidden track on an album where you would kind of discover it if you left the, the CD or record playing too long. Um, sort of a hidden track comes up sometimes and that's kind of what this song feels like. Although it's not hidden, it's actually part of the album. It's listed on the back of the CD. It's not a bad little song. It's just kind of there and it really didn't do anything for me. The production on this album is pretty well done. I definitely give them props for that. They definitely know how to get a good mix and get 
get everything uh, sounding right and all the instruments coming in at a, a, a an acceptable level. I didn't feel like any guitars were hidden or the drums were too loud or anything like that. Everything was pretty balanced. This was an okay album. It wasn't great, but it wasn't really bad either. Uh, it's a little all over the place. It feels like uh, it's an album where the Strokes are kind of doing everything they've done in the past. And like it's sort of they're all mixing it together into one album. Um, so it doesn't really have any clear direction or anything like that. I think all of the songs are, you know, good songs, but maybe some of the execution of the songs are a little weaker than others. Uh, I think it's a, a strong effort, um, a little bit better than Angles. I like this album quite a bit more, actually. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to give this album a 7 out of 10. So anyway, that's what I thought about the album. Let me know what you guys think in the comments or with the video response. If you'd like to suggest an album, please leave that in the comments as well, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Thank you.